Hi everyone, I'm making this video with some mixed emotions and that's because the day has come where it's time to say goodbye to the NS Eccentric Chromo. Find out why after the intro. So I've had this bike for just over a year and it's been brilliant. It's my first real hardtail and I've absolutely loved it. It's really opened my eyes to the joys of hardtail riding and it's improved me as a rider. You can't just plow through things like you can on a full suspension. You have to pick your lines a lot more carefully and this bike has been brilliant as my first hardtail. So why am I getting rid of it? Well, as I'm sure you know by now, Adventure Trails are now Cro-Mag dealers. So I'm getting a Cro-Mag. So really, it's new bike day, which is brilliant. But I've got to take this one apart first, so let's get on with it. And just in case you didn't know, the Adventure Trail shop in Kimver are now the UK's official Cro-Mag dealers. So get in touch if you fancy yourself a new bike build, or some really cool accessories like saddles, pedals, bars. Get in touch at www.adventuretrails.bike. Okay, the frame is stripped. I'm going to be using pretty much all of the same parts on my new build. So I'm going to service what I can, I'm going to clean everything up and I'm going to take everything to the shop and we're going to build a new bike in the shop. So, I'll see you there in a bit. In the shop, let's get it built. So, hello guys. Hello guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving him to it because I'm way too busy to help him today. Craig wanted this Cro-Mag at a cheaper rate, he's got to build it yourself. And here it is, my brand new Cro-Mag route down in medium large, perfect for my height at 181 centimeters. And I've already fitted Invisiframe to it, just to give it that little bit extra protection. The Cro-Mag route down comes with a semi-integrated headset, which means I need to press cups into it, and a press fit bottom bracket. Once we've fitted the back wheel, the derailleur and the cranks, it doesn't take long for it to start to look like a bike. Now the choice of fork is important on any hardtail, and I've gone for a really burly 38mm stanchion in the RockShox domain. Just look at the size of that. I've got a feeling this is going to be an absolute beast of a bike. So when fitting a brand new fork, the first thing we need to do is apply a liberal amount of grease ready to get the race down onto the fork. Then it's time to measure the length of your steerer tube. Before measuring this, make sure you put all your spacers and your stem onto the steerer tube, then mark off where you think you need to cut, then remember to cut about 5mm below just to allow for some compression in the headset bearings. Also remember to get rid of any burrs or sharp edges from that fresh cut steerer tube. You don't want to be getting any scratches or sharp edges left standing. And then it's time to fit a new star nut. Now this nut is what's used to actually tighten the headset. When you tighten the bolt in the stem cap, this is the nut it's tightening down into. And that allows the bearings to compress and the headset not to come loose. And there we go, fresh star nut fitted. So it's starting to look like a bike, rear wheels on, cassettes on, cranks are in, fork is cut and fitted. Let's go on with the rest of it. And there's not much left to do before we can start putting the finishing touches. That's the beauty of hardtails, they're simple, there's very little to go wrong. So we're just getting the rear brake on there now and making sure that the brake line is correctly rooted. Every new Cro-Mag frame comes with this little brown packet and in there we've got loads of cable ties, all the cable ties we could possibly need for cable routing. We have these little black grommets, which is what covers the hole for the dropper post, an owner's manual with information for registering the frame, and this really cool Cro-Mag sticker. So this build is nearly complete now, we're just getting the front brake on, and then it's just a few last minute touches, like routing the dropper post cable, getting the chain on, indexing the gears, then it's time to take it outside and have a little look at what we've built. And here it is, my brand new Cro-Mag route down build and it looks like an absolute beast of a bike. I cannot wait to get this out on the trail. I'll leave a description of the full build and components I've used in the description down below. If you like the look of this build and you're interested in getting your own Cro-Mag, get in touch at www.adventuretrails.bike. If you haven't already, click the picture of the mountains to subscribe and we'll see you soon.